Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an intriguing topic to explore. Turning mercury into gold. Yes, you heard it right. We'll delve into the science behind this process and understand how it has become possible with the advancements in nuclear technology. But before we begin, let's take a look at the equipment you'll need for this alchemical experiment. First, gather a substantial amount of mercury. Keep in mind that the process is not very efficient, so you'll need a significant quantity. Next, you'll require a neutron source, such as a particle accelerator or a nuclear reactor. This will provide the necessary neutrons for the transmutation process. You'll also need a neutron moderator, which can be as simple as tap water. It helps slow down the neutrons for better interaction with the mercury. To ensure safety and accuracy, don't forget neutron shielding, reflecting, and collimating equipment. These help contain the neutron radiation and focus it on the mercury. Lastly, have some nitric acid on hand. You'll need it to treat the mixture later on. Once you have all the equipment, it's time to configure the setup. Neutrons from the source pass through a collimator and a moderator, eventually reaching the mercury. Reflectors are placed around the mercury to contain any escaping neutrons, while shielding provides additional protection. Now, let's initiate the reaction. The mercury is subjected to a short, intense burst of neutron radiation. This step is crucial for the process to begin. So, what's the science behind turning mercury into gold? Let's dive into it. Ordinary mercury consists of various isotopes, including HG196, HG198, HG199, HG200, HG201, HG202, and HG204. When HG196 absorbs a neutron, it transforms into HG197, which eventually decays into gold. However, some other isotopes undergo transformations as well, but they remain as mercury. After the neutron burst, we have to play the waiting game. The reaction that produces gold has a half-life of 64.14 hours. This means that after this duration, half of the HG197 will have converted into gold. Patience is key. Once the waiting is over, it's time to treat the mixture. We treat the mixture with nitric acid. This step dissolves mercury and thallium while leaving the gold unaffected. Next, we need to filter the solution to separate mercury and thallium nitrates. What remains after the filtration process is pure gold, ready to be revealed. But before you get too excited, it's essential to note that turning mercury into gold is highly inefficient. In fact, you would obtain less than three quarters of a gram of gold from a kilogram of mercury. So, it's not a practical or economically viable process. However, it provides us with a deeper understanding of the wonders of nuclear science. And there you have it, the mesmerizing process of turning mercury into gold. Stay curious and keep exploring the secrets of our universe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Let us know in the comments what other scientific topics you'd like us to explore. Until next time, happy experimenting!